you are ready, shout it to the Lord. I love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence. Say it to your seatmate. I love to be in your presence. I love to be in your presence. Amen. Okay, before anything else, welcome uh, to this third year anniversary of the Jesus First Christian Ministry, North York. And of course, I would like to give a special welcome to our special guest, to our visitors, Kaldina Q. Let us also welcome John Ronnie Iglesia. Yeah. Welcome Patricia Bol Bolor. Yeah. The next, welcome EJ Borge. Yeah. Okay, let us welcome also Perez. And welcome also Jos Perez. Welcome also our sister Tess Perez. And let us welcome also Paul Camalia. The next welcome, uh, again, welcome po Nahor Atensya na po, mahina na po ang aking pong mata <laughs> Brother Nahor Welcome po, Brother Ben Ado The next Sister Rose Ado The next is Sister Claire Sarmiento. 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 Brother Marvin Sarmiento. Sister Mary Jane Sarmiento. Welcome. Brother Michael Arshio. Welcome. Po. Sister Tricia Arceo. Welcome to our and Sister Joy Arceo. your holy name, O God. Father, we come before you today with a humble and a grateful heart. And whatever shortcomings, O God, or sin that we have right now, we ask that you forgive us, O God, all our unrighteousness. Forgive us, O God. Forgive us.
right now. Whatever it is that you're feeling right now, you are not alone in this battle. Jesus is with you. God is fighting for you. And we will declare this, that enemy has been defeated and Jesus is here with us. Amen, church. God is fighting for us and he will continue to fight for us. So let's sing this song again. God is fighting for us. Amen. So let's sing this one more time. God is fighting for us. I want to thank you, Jesus, for this time, Lord, that we were able to worship you. Lord, we want to thank you for this time, Lord, that everyone is gathered here with us, Lord, to bring you praise, so Lord, and now, Lord. Christian Ministry, sa lahat po ng bisita natin ngayong umagang ito, welcome. We are so blessed to have you today, mga kapatid, mga pakapamilya. In Judges chapter 2 verses 10 to 11, after that whole generation had been gathered to their fathers, another generation grew up who knew neither the Lord nor what he had done for Israel. Then the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord and served the Baals. This is the history of the Israelites that the next generation fullness because God is faithful. Do we say amen to that? The reason why we are celebrating the third anniversary is because of the faithfulness of God. The reason why we are here gathered together is because we believe that our God is a faithful God. And true enough, we must remember His faithfulness in our needs. And that will bring us to the question, what should we remember about God's faithfulness? Ano po yung dapat nating tandaan? Ano po yung dapat nating alalahanin? What should we remember about His goodness and His faithfulness? And let us learn from this story of the psalmist when he narrated the story of the Israelites in the wilderness. First, the first point is He is faithful to His covenants. He is faithful to His covenants. Whatever tipan, whatever agreement He has made to, his, to their forefathers, God is very faithful. God is honest and He will accomplish whatever He has committed to their forefathers. How did the Lord show His faithfulness to His people? First, is He protected them when what they need was protection. He protected them what, when what they need is protection. Second, He tested them when what they needed was testing. Una po mga kapatid ay yung protection ng Panginoon. He protected them when what they needed was protection. God protected them. And that is the promise that God is giving to us. Even in the midst of our trials, even in the midst of our uh, pagsubok, even in the midst of the problems that we are encountering, God will always protect you. Do we say amen to that? Amen. So,